watching when you were calling the game was what's going on with number 20. More on that in a second as we look at number 21 between the pipes. Yeah, why Schuchler, the latest in a long line of Army netminders that are just statistically darlings, and schuchler has been up to the standard of that Army defense in recent weeks. And the bigger story at that position has to be that of Sam Schaefer. You mentioned that Army game. Jason, he was pulled early in the first quarter. That was the turnaround for Schaefer. Lost his starting job for the next week. Came in at the half against Navy. It's been a different goalie since. Battle in the faceoff. Bailey Savio, Stevie Graber, both of them following brothers at their respective schools as faceoff guys. Long scramble here in the outset. Control finally? Question mark? Looked like Army was going to get it, but it's poked away. Tyler Olbrick had it, and Loyola will take it. See our officials here for this second semifinal. And the Greyhounds look to get after it, averaging 12 and a half goals offensively per game. Moving in, Seth Higgins, and there's Lindley. 37 goals on the as well. Each team with a trio of turnovers thus far. Lindley, feed, finish, C, and C. Loyola take the lead. Umstead's been playing at another level the last couple games. A lot of confidence. Got to love a matchup with a short stick. You also have Kevin Lindley showing his ability to feed as well. I love this. He puts it in his right. You can tell he's not comfortable with it, but he gets it on the stick of C. He's rocking that seven, Jason. Up. Secondary chance. Blocked out high. Danny Kilbasa, junior from Fairfax, Virginia, able to save it. Reset here on the offense. Jacob Morin. He'll wind and fire wide. More on the sophomore seeing some more time. You get a career high five goals against Rutgers in a game last year before the shutdown, but has not played a ton so far this season. Always count on Alberici. And how about that? Enger in the slot, scores it, and Army finally breaks through. We mentioned to get it off with velocity. You're down a man. Your suspect inside, Edinger makes you pay. We're knotted in one in Bethlehem. Your brother Dan also had a terrific career at Army. These soft guys are all kind of a special breed of their own, so it's not surprising that they kept the family there. Again, Bailey Savio following his brother. Graham as well after his great career. Shot from distance and a score. Army teeing it up and taking the lead. How about that cannon fodder? Does that kill Bossa? He's been pumping in goals at high priority of late. This is pretty offense from Army. Starts behind and then just kill Bossa with such a quick release. The ability to catch and fire, you can see it. Great view there. Very little sort of cock back, if you will. Only pops from no goals to one ahead. Yeah, you mentioned how both these teams combine for a you know, high total when it comes to goals, but I do think that both teams' strength lies in the defensive end. Lindley, Schupler getting big, but the rebound is there for Loyola's all-time top goal getter. Ball off the goaltender's body part, stick, whatever it might be, and catch and finish is elite level. Watch this one. Snatches it out of the air, keeps it in his left. He is a dominant left-handed player. And then the presence to wrap it around Schupler. And we should mention, Jason, if I can't do my normal stuff, well, that was, that was a little normal. extra normal, maybe even for him. That's second effort. Loyola able to square the score, too. Nick Turn, again, trying to pressurize from X. Back in front, Cam Wires that did a good job on him last time. Watches Burns go low and beat Schaefer. 
Brett and Nick turns back. This, and Cam Myers has got to stop getting hung up because it's given Nick Turn a free run from X. And as he's fading away, just to see that Burns is in a place to be able to make that catch. And that's just, that's a tough spot for, for Schaefer. Gets down late. Almost, I think, a bit stunned that team many shot attempts from above, goal line extended. Wigley maybe had an opening, tried to cut it back the other way, and ran into the defense. Wiggly again. Shot, stop. Schupler with another. Ground ball, Hudgens. Loose, picked up, and rifled home. Alertly there is Patra for the pound. This is how Loyola has to produce. They don't have the alpha star in challenging defense like Army, so you got to earn it. They get a great look here. Lindley gets a shot on. Schupler's there, but just the riding, the effort from Olmstead, and then Potter there to pick it up and let it fly. Getting goals in the unconventional is going to have to be part of the recipe for Loyola in this game, whether it's in the ride, early offense. Enter. Screen from Andrew Kelly. Able to twist and beat John Raley. Enger scores. Army leads. In style, one-handed. He's got it in his right here, but you know he wants to get back to his left and kind of rolls inside. Able to make plays in tight spaces. Got a tell in New York upstate. He's got the game to back it up. He knows exactly where he is. Comfortable with that pressure on his back. And that eye doesn't have its normal impact because of conference only scheduling for teams. So we're thinking it's going to be more eye test by the committee, but we really don't know. So for all these teams, it's hey, just win the tournament. Shot and score. Cutting through and the put away for Matt Higgins. First to the speed. Six on six. It's a grind to get to 10 goals. But if they can get some in early offense, and Higgins kind of plays that subbing cat and mouse game. They think he's going to run off the field because he's a defensive personnel. But instead, he cuts down the pipe. And you know Olmstead's going to find him. He's got eyes in the back of his head. 2016, 2017, 2018. Army captured the crown the last time this event was held in 2019. Only one going to get to advance to the final this year. Wiggly, nice turn. Oh. Fire and score! What a move! Outside of a dodge, put his foot in the turf and let one rip. Just check this out. Freezes his defender, rolls out of it, just bounces that one to the top corner. I love when guys use that turf to their advantage. Schupler's been so well. Similar styles at times. Save number seven off the noggin of Schaefer. And the latest shot attempt from Army fired a lot. That was Gunnar Phillip who let it fly. Nick Turn gets the left hand free and scores. His first of the night in the goal category. This is what Nick Turn does best when he's dodging with determination. Just an absolute bowling ball. Just right into the gut of wires. And then what he does so well, we saw Schaefer get a save on a similar looking shot, but see how he's able to roll out of his dodge and immediately let it fly. I mean, this comes with just repetition of roll out of your dodge, separate from the defender, and sting a corner. James tracked by by James almost down on the crouch ball still moving and there's Olmstead shaking free where credit James behind he, he he forces the early rotation the hedge there Swindell draws one more Hutchins gets caught in no man's land and Olmstead kind of known as that feeder, but he's got a great shot. I mean, he's got that three-quarter arm, 
release that's really tough to read if you're a goaltender. Big dude. That's a 6'4", 215-pound object. <laughs> that moves fast. That was, that was moving. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, keep an eye on 45 and white. Edinger Burns has got some distance, as does Abshire. Nick Turns usually the man who's dishing it. Look at the ball work. And the rip home. Morin bangs it. Army ties it. Today's scholar athletes. These guys make plays in the game. And Morin back out there, number 90. Help two with Paul Johnson, younger brother of Cole, who was such a fixture during his West Point days. And in front, Burns buries it. Black Knights take the lead. This defense is playing inside out, but it, it doesn't take much. We've already seen one from Burns. His hands inside are so clever. It does look as if the slide comes and the rotation from Rayleigh's just a step late, and that's all. Up. Seeing if they can find a way to cash in and tie it up. Swindell. Straight away laser. For the grand stipple times a game, Swindell reminds you that he has the size and speed you would love to have as a midfielder. And what Charlie Toomey tell us, he's always messing with that stick, and it's dialed in right now. Went through a shooting slump, and then woke up in the Georgetown game and has been making goalies pay. It's out of their transition game, and that starts with their defense. High pick, freeing up Higgins, going back for Lindley. Quieter than you would have expected for number seven tonight. So I say that, he's got a gorgeous setup for Olmsted. Your voice carries, Jason Knapp. Yes is the answer to that question, but Kevin Lindley, the thing that Olmstead's got Hudgens, an All-American in his gloves all night, he's got to be more of a Dodger. He gets a step on Wigand, and Olmstead does his best Lindley impression with a cut and finish. That's back-to-back -back assists for Lindley with his right hand. Who knew it? And yeah, the strip flipped. Normally, Lindley on the receiving end of those delightful games, getting it set up. Lindley probing. James Defender oh. fell. Now he realizes it fires and scores. Devin James, one of those guys that's been fighting through injury. Now a two goal lead. It starts here with Bennis. Allowing Loyola to maintain possession. And then James attacks from behind. Separates from Davenport. It's like, oh, hey, I got some room here. Love how he drops his stick head low. Watch Schupler. He's going to think this is a riser. Going high. Doesn't see it at all. He jumps. He's trying to find that thing above his shoulders. And James keeps him guessing. Other guys will get great looks. Swindell keeps this train chugging for Loyola. Four straight for the Hapman Hounds. Defense. Not wanting to see his college career end. Swindell lets it fly. Loyola starting to spend ample opportunities. They just haven't done much with it. This I like to see. Does it himself. Said when my team needs me, I'm ready to rise up. And number 20 is woken up. Rinse, repeat if you're Army offensively. There are really nice pieces in this offense, but you have one All-American, and it's Brendan Nickturn, and you have to go down with him. Here he gets to his, again, five yards above goal line, five yards out.
comes out of this dodge and is able to find plenty of net to shoot for. Even when he doesn't score, which he did there, now the see had the initial goal of the night for the Greyhounds. They've lost the lead and now have it here by a couple. Instead, as you might expect, getting some sticks in the way when he's moving towards the cage. Higgins with a step. Here the slide call, but they can't stop C. That badly where a man in Ry Riley C is left completely untouched above goal line extended. Wygans on his way, but man, there's nothing Schuchler can do. And, and to me, Phillip, lefty shot, and that may have hit Burns in front. Definitely never got all the way back to Schaefer. And Army gonna have it again. Yeah, the new shot clock. Not that they're gonna be wasting any time, but it's a tough call for Loyola. Called interference. In front, Abshire. What a move! Abshire on the doorstep. Wires kind of steps away. That's all Nick Turn needs. Constantly dodging with his head up, puts this pass on the money. Quick stick finish for Abshire. Here's what Nick Turn sees. Abshire does the rest. It's not Patriot League in most leagues. It might be first team. That's the deal with Sisselberger and Gravers. With the better man. He's taking his lunch money tonight, 15 to 23. In the win category for Army, but the Black Knights still down two. Nixer winds and scores. One goal game. The All-American is stepping up. Most effective offensive players in the country. Last three goals have been either a goal from Nick Turner or assist from Nick Turner. And they've been carbon copies, just attacking for Max, getting to his areas of the field where he feels comfortable this time, wrapping it around that big body of wires so Schaefer never gets a good gauge on where that shot's coming from. To the corner and James gets possession. So you just want to keep this ball at this end of the field. Gets dicey when you go up top. Higgins will send it wide. Swindell. Deep far corner. Lindley. Davenport trying to do what he can. Goal is empty, but Loyola not going for it. Easy guys. And a timeout taken here by Charlie Toomey with 6.4 seconds left. They can just settle here and come out of the pile with the ball with no pressure here at the outset. Unbelievable swing from this program the last seven to 10 days. I mean, Charlie Toomey's won a national championship. He's taken this program to the final four multiple times, but this might be his most impressive coaching job and credit not just Charlie Toomey but his staff coach Dwan Van Arsdale and these players I mean you pass most notably they don't have a once in a generation talent like Pat Spencer and losing a couple of guys to injury yes. as well is trying to find a way through move people to different places I and mean, Charlie Toomey pushing all the right buttons right now for this group And the Loyola faithful shaking things up on their side of the field. Ready to celebrate a trip back to the championship round. Joe Alberici thinking of what could have been for his team in this game. And just popped to the soft corner. And let the celebration begin for Loyola. 11-10, the Greyhounds dashing on to the Patriot League final to meet Lehigh on Sunday.
How about this Loyola team, Evan? Lost in the regular season to Army and Navy. They've avenged both of those losses this week.